What's up everyone, Arif here, and well, I'm a little late because I took seven months to do one office modification, and that literally held up this video, but we are gonna get to it today. So it is March 19th, 2022, and it is time for the studio update. Let's get into it. Let's go down the stairs as we do every year because a lot of modifications were made this year. Beginning with this computer right here. This is my old server. It's an AMD FX8320E. Well, I upgraded the server to, a, to my Ryzen, which we'll get to later. So this came out here and is now gonna be my Linux box, my Linux like test machine. So there is that. It's also going to run the monitor for the camera and the capture card. And that is that. This here is the project table and my workout table too. So my gloves for my boxing right there. But we have the Blackmagic ATM Mini, which I have not even plugged into the PC yet. All I did was the unboxing. We have this broken audio compressor, uh, a barcode scanner, and there's something else I had to repair here. Oh yes, this right here. I do have the capacitors for them. I just have to put them together. So we'll get to that. Coming over to the shelf, we have all of our cinema lenses. I have more batteries than I know what to do with. But the big thing is, where is, oh, there they are. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Where the hell did I put them? Oh. We have this, which is a monitor calibrator I bought back in 2020 and never opened. God damn it. Okay. Well, I appear to have lost them. Oh, no, here they are. Here they are. The biggest addition was I bought three mount lens mount adapters since I was using Nikon beforehand. I have since upgraded. So we no longer are using Nikon, but I didn't want to buy $2,000 in new lenses. So instead we bought lens mount adapters, which are absolutely fantastic. Up here we have webcams. Uh, we have a uh, cam quarter cam, which I can use for live streams. Coming over here, we have the ATM mini and then just some old camera gear. What do we got up here? We have our backup bloody B975 keyboard. We still have our Steam links from 2017 that have never been opened that I bought for $6. These are two CPUs, Intel uh, 5500, I think. They're, they're old CPUs, I'm just gonna give them away. But yeah, I have uh, two old CPUs, 10 gig NIC, mm, Yeti Nano Box, I could probably throw that out now, I'm probably never gonna do that review. And yeah. Let's go over to the bar. Oh, another big addition was I put puzzle mats all over here to stop wearing out my carpet. That That's not a studio thing. That's just a me thing. I just thought it was cool. Uh, what else did I add? Last year, I added mesh networks to the house for the GoPro. And now I can just walk around. It's very, very nice, very convenient. And here's the reason we actually upgraded off the Nikon was because I got a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K camera. Yes, if you saw the video where I got scammed on Kijiji, I still ended up getting the camera. And even with the scam, I paid 2000 for the camera. I got scammed for 500. So I'm in it for 2500, but this camera is 2800. So I'm still up 300 bucks. Another big change to the studio this year was this. This is my current laptop uh, that I was using for like projects when I was upstairs watching movies. But the laptop that was here that ran the camera to watch the 3D printer, it kind of bit the dust. So I was like, I need a new computer and I hadn't built one yet. So I just used, this is a stopgap. It's doing great though, doing fantastic. What do we got over here? We have our Canon camera. Uh, I'm not happy with the placement of this right now, so I will probably be changing that sometime soon. But yeah, 
uh, I'll change that. Here's the old Nikon camera. This is a D3300. Served me very well, 1080p, 60 frames a second. It just outgrew its life. The biggest downside to this camera and the main reason I switched up, shockingly enough, was the fact it just turns off after 10 minutes. There's no way to stop the timer. So it just turns off, which is incredibly annoying and something Canon is better for. But Canon at the time I bought this was only doing 1080 30 on the consumer line. It was a whole thing. So I just went with Nikon. Served me very well for seven years, but now it's time to upgrade. Oh, coming back to here. The reason why we haven't upgraded to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K just yet, why you're not seeing videos, is because I maxed out the storage on the card. So I do need to get an external SSD. I'm just waiting for them to come down in price. That's all. But we are gonna get to them relatively soon, hopefully. There should be a sale coming up. Here is the Anycubic 3D printer in the C922 that watches it. This actually serves two purposes. One, I can live stream the 3D prints, but also when I'm just doing it locally, because of how my stream setup works, I can use this as a security camera and I can just like watch the print and see if anything goes wrong. It's really, really handy. What's on the ground here? Oh, we have our Elgato 4K Pro. This is cool. I got this for $250 for, as a birthday present to myself. Very, very nice person sold it to me. I'll throw a link to his channel on the screen now. This guy was awesome. I really do appreciate him for selling it to me for this price. Very nice guy. We have a whole bunch of cables because I'm still in the middle of working on the studio. We have a ROG SSD there. Here is the old computer that I was talking about on the bar. It bit the dust. It, it's just dead. It was a good computer, lived a good life. So I'm not too sad about it. 10 years, I feel like I got my money out. Here's our picture of Recful. You know, Rip Recful, we love you. And let's go into the main event room. So what did I add in this room here? Nothing, no computer parts wise. Oh, I did add this. I'm not sure if this was in the last video or not, but I did add that. That is a Canon T7i DSLR. Uh, I did add this monitor, which I did think I included last year, but you never know. Between, between the time I shoot these videos, it's hard to remember. Um, nothing here that's brand new. Just as you can see, this is my home. This is my home server. This is my main computer. Oh, you know what? While we're at it, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. You should probably subscribe to this channel if you like it. How many of you are not subscribed? What the hell? 99.7 of you, bro, bro. Yo, y'all gotta hit that sub button, man. Ouch, ouch. This channel has nearly a million views in only 0.3 of a subscriber count, that is, that's harsh. Here is the backup streaming setup. And what normally goes here is the computer, but this is now what the server has become. So just, it's an empty void right now until the graphics card shortage goes away. But yeah, this is the backup stream. But what's cool though, is I can talk into this mic and it will get routed all the way to this computer and I can talk into this and it'll route all the way back to the backup computer with no feedback. So that's really cool. And what held up this entire video for the better part of three months, because I was lazy for seven months, was this right here. These little ABS pipe, PBS pipes, these right here are what held it up. But as you can see, the routing looks fantastic now. It is way, way better. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. And there you guys have it. That is the studio tour for March, 2022. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna see more about my setup, there's more videos on this channel where you can see me setting up stuff, tuning stuff, all that. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you liked it, do hit that subscribe button. God, we need to get higher than 0.3. That is just painful. And other than that guys, I've been Arif. This has been a studio tour for 2022 and I'll see all of you next year. Bye.